ultimately it's about connectivity for the UK and that's connectivity for us and we've developed a lot of new routes and we've now got a number of new airlines flying services into Gatwick so people like uh, Air China, Korean Airlines, Vietnam Airlines have all joined us recently at Gatwick to offer new services to passengers. I think as we think, think about on the financing side how things have been done and what, the, what that really teases out, if I look at the equity side of the story, then we already have private sector investors, pension funds from overseas who are investing in this particular asset and asset class. It's demonstrably interesting and uh, value creative for those investors. And I think UK pension funds need to be given the facility to find their way into that sector. And that means deepening the skills that they have, perhaps pooling the skills that they have to allow them to specialise and understand the risks and rewards that go with that sort of investment. Um, what's worked very well and I think is a, a lesson perhaps we should take overseas is the question of how we've approached the debt financing for the business where actually over time we've morphed from a business that's been entirely bank funded and the constraints that they, they have in terms of the duration of the uh, investment that they can make to five years to actually become more bond financed over a 15 to 30 year basis funded by UK pension funds and so they're already very active in this sector but what's pivotal for them is access to the right credit rated instruments and credit rating is important and getting the sort of mitigation of risks but not elimination of risks but the right mitigation of risks particularly on greenfield assets is a key challenge in learning I think.